start now. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Cole Mayholtz. It's Kevin Carrigan. And we're introducing our new food truck business, Lou's Green Room. Let's switch to the next slide. The reasoning behind the name was because uh, throughout the football season, my football coach started calling me Lou, so I thought it was only right to put that as the face of my business. Our signature dish is the Lou Special. It includes three scoops of your own ice cream, whipped cream, uh, sprinkles, Reese's, and caramel. Our networking connections, our friend's mom is a professor at the university, so not only could she advertise our business, but she could get us a permit to set our food truck up on the university. And our internal strengths are we're hardworking, determined to succeed, we're both leaders, we pay attention to detail, and we're good people. All right, so now we're gonna do some of the research we've uh, saw over the years. So we saw that there's about approximately 35,000 food trucks across the U.S. And uh, there's about 40,000 in the industry, so that's meaning that there's gonna be more um, workers inside the food truck. That doesn't only mean there's gonna be one to two people in the food truck at a time. And I, I'm thinking that if there's too many people in a small space, it's gonna, it's not gonna be as go over as well, so I'd say Two people is probably ideal for a food truck uh, like a normal size. Um, so there seems to have been like a 7.5% growth over the years. Um, it seems like recently there has been like a lot of online orders, which I'm gonna go over later in our uh, speech, but I'd say um, about $1.2 billion, uh, billion dollars in food trucks in 2022, which is, which is up from uh, recent years. So we saw that 91% of food trucks believe to stay just because recently there had, like with the pandemic and everything, we th were thinking that all the, all the orders are gonna go on to online and it seems like there's gonna be a uh, lasting trend. It's not gonna just be here to stay, so. Our grape soda, orange soda, and root beer soda floats are all 300, are 350. Our, um, all of our milkshakes range from four to five dollars. Our sundaes and cones are four dollars, except for our, our special uh, menu item. Our target market is a college student named Michael Falusa. Uh, I, chose, I chose to build a business around people like this because he's a college student and he's not too worried about eating healthy. He just wants cheap food that's fast and easy. Two people we did not build our business around was Lisa Martinez and Kim McDonald, mainly because these two people are are more focused on a healthier lifestyle, so we knew that having them as our target uh, customer was not a good idea. All right, so location, we saw that we'd like to go into not more of a residential area, but more of a college scene. Um, a lot of kids in college, they'll either throw like they, they'll throw their money away because they know that, um, like, they just they just don't know what they're doing with their money at that age. So, I'd say college team would probably be the best. Um, kids will grab ice cream, um, and it's it's better than like a more residential area because in res residential areas it doesn't always mean there's going to be customers uh, more frequent as college team. Uh, so, Carolyn. Uh, seems that she's probably going to be one of our good candidates because she's already worked and has good experience in the business field. And then we have Amy here, who already has been in the food industry and she has really good uh, back. Like she has, we saw, we went ran through her background. We saw that she has really good um, information. So I chose project organization because it's reasonable and easy to follow. And this allows people to not only complete their own goals, but if, if they need, if it need be, they can help other people as well. Our promotional mix, I chose television as our main sort of advertisement because I know that electronics are very important nowadays and everyone's always watching TV and on their phones and computers. So I know that if we, if we put ads on television, that a lot of people will see it and that's good to, to get our name out there. And, um, Another thing that we did was t-shirts because if we see people walking around with t-shirts, um, you know, it means that people are willing to buy our t-shirts if they like our food, so. And our college campuses, when, when someone sees that t-shirt, it normally brings people to our 
food truck, and we're gonna be we're gonna be at all different locations, which is gonna be key to get um, more more uh, revenue. All right, so our financial estimate. So obviously, our food trucks taking away the majority of our cost. Uh, we saw so we're also including for the ice cream, which is our most important uh, product. We're we're gonna have a high uh, high quality freezer that has like the normal um, like where the ice cream is actually in a uh, where we can scoop it out easy. And then uh, our freezer is also taking away a lot of our bread. But uh, overall, I'd say. Uh, we have a lot of uh, little things like the spoons, and uh, that's gonna not be as uh, costly. So for our financial estimate again, uh, we saw that a lot of our overhead costs are what's gonna be here for good. Um, we also support local businesses in the area, uh, brown collars, so it's gonna help them boost up as well as us, they're gonna promote us. and. Me and Cole are both going to go 40, 40 grand in to start up so that we have some type of le leeway with uh, our other financial costs. Lou's Creamery is the creamiest, most delicious, spectacular ice cream around. <laughs> it's all under $6. Uh, me and Kev uh, set up a, a team of trusted employees uh, to complete one common goal, and that's to sell ice cream. Yep. Good job, and 